In this video, we will go through audio signal processing tools in MATLAB. We will see how to record our voice in MATLAB and then how to realize its time domain and frequency domain contents. We will start from how to record our voice in MATLAB. Now before going to MATLAB, let me introduce you to the audio signal. Audio signal is nothing but a vector or matrix with numerical numbers. This vector has certain properties like sampling frequency, fs, channels and number of bits per sample. Audio signal can be stored with extension of .mp3 and .wav file. So in order to record a voice, we need to define these three parameters that are sampling frequency, number of bits required to store each sample and channels. Let's assume some values and move ahead. So first of all, we have to create an m file with name audio. So now fs is equal to 4000 channels is equal to 1 bits is equal to 16 Now we have to define an object with these properties For this purpose we will use MATLAB built-in function audio recorder that will create an object with these settings r is equal to audio recorder fs bits channels now let's see what is stored in this object As it is clear, various output parameters are set according to our input while all other parameters have default values. Now we will learn how to record a voice for a specific time period. Let's say we want to record a voice for 5 seconds. Duration is equal to 5. Now we will call a MATLAB built-in function record blocking in which we will pass our created object and duration of a signal. Record blocking R comma duration. Display recording stored. Next step is to extract the audio data array from our variable in order to plot and listen to it. Let's say it is stored in variable x and we can check that x contain numerical values by printing it down to the command window x is equal to get audio data from r now we can use sound command to listen to our audio Remember that it is necessary to mention the fs and bit parameters in the sound command in order to listen to the signal accurately. fs, comma, bits. Now if we want to plot the recorded signal in the time domain and frequency domain then first we have to define the x-axis for both the plots accurately. For sure time axis will start from zero and end up to 5 up to the duration of the signal here we have to take care of sampling frequency otherwise the plot will not be accurate so t is equal to 0 colon 1 over fs colon length of x minus 1 divided by fs 
keep in mind that length of x minus 1 divided by fs is equal to the duration of the signal which in our case is equal to 5 seconds. This vector will start from 0 increment 1 over fs each time until it reaches the last value that is 5 seconds or more accurately length of x minus 1 divided by fs. Now it is time to plot the time domain plot with proper labels and titles. Subplot two rows, one column, and first entry. Plot t comma x with line width of one point five. X label is time in seconds. Y label is amplitude Title is Time domain plot of the recorded signal Now let's say we want to plot the frequency plot. Frequency plot. Remember that this audio signal is a discrete signal or more accurately digital signal and these type of signals require sampling frequency plus the number of bits to store each sample. So in order to calculate the frequency transform we will use discrete Fourier transform that can be calculated using FFT command in MATLAB. Before that we have to create an accurate frequency axis that is n is equal to length of x frequency is equal to 0 colon 1 over fs colon that is 0 colon n minus 1 multiplied with fs by n y is equal to fft of x comma n note that we have used n values in fft command to increase the resolution you can even neglect this variable secondly it is not a zero centered response so we have to shift the calculated frequency axis and the original frequency response values code is given below for this part that is f of 0 is equal to minus n by 2 colon n by 2 minus 1 dot steric fs by n. y of 0 is equal to fft shift of y dot in line number 20 dot in line number 14 represent point to point operation that is point to point multiplication now the value of y0 can contain real as well as imaginary part so it is necessary to use the absolute function before plotting the vector that is a y of 0 is equal to a b s of y of 0 subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 then plot f of 0 comma a y of 0 
with line width of 1.5 X label is equal to frequency in hertz Y label is amplitude and title is frequency domain plot of audio signal now we have skipped one thing earlier that is how to store write and read the audio signal suppose i want to solve i want to save this audio signal with name my voice what will we do nothing to worry about matlab has built in function that can handle things for us that is file name is equal to my voice dot wave audio write is file name x comma fs remember this remember this we have to store the audio along with its component like one the sampling frequency secondly we have to mention extensions with dot in which we want to save our file like we have used dot wave here X is a data array that contain the audio signal in numerical form. You can see that a WAV file is created in the current folder directory. It is not created still now as we have not run this function. So first of all, I will put the sound command in comments as I don't want to listen to the sound. here it is giving some error that is this it is solved now we can run this function hello this is an audio signal processing class and welcome to this class so now here you can see that a myvoice.wav file is created in the current folder and here you can see the time domain plot and the frequency domain plot of the signal that i have recorded the signal that i have recorded is we can listen to this signal here you can see data and fs fs is the sampling rate and data is the numerical values Now we can listen to the sound like this. You can run this command and listen to the sound. Hello, this is an audio signal processing class and welcome to this class. any questions and suggestions please let us know see you in the next video